Good morning, fam. It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC, and today we are going to strop the TRM Neutron with the TRM Strop. This is beautiful. Thank you, TRM, for sending this to me. I didn't even ask for it. Marianne sent me an email uh, asking if I want to use one of these. And I told her no, because I already have a bunch of strops. I don't need another one. And they sent me one anyway. They're, they're really nice over there. So um, got this in the mail yesterday. It came with some green polishing compound. So it came with this little puck. You can see I kind of used that area there to apply it to the strop. But the, they're so sweet over there. Uh, I didn't need this, but it is really cool. And it's the nicest strop I've ever seen in my life. So we're going to try it out today. Uh, this one is actually made with horse leather, which I've never used. So we'll just take a look at it real quick. I think this is G10. It's like blue layered. Really nice G10. It's very sturdy and long, as you can see. But this is literally the most beautiful strop I've ever seen. It's double-sided, so I applied the green compound to the rough side, as you can see, and then I ended up leaving the smooth side plain. Uh, Mr. Kane is here with us. The leather feels like really, really nice quality. I mean, I can't, oh, I can't even explain. It's beautiful, and it's very hard. Like, very, very dense, which I like. Um, I feel like this is so hard that you could probably create a burr with this strop, which is pretty wild. So let's, let's touch up this Neutron. I've been using it all day, every day. Could probably use a touch up. <clears throat> we're going to start on the side with the compound, then probably switch over to the smooth side and see where we're at. And I already cleaned up the blade. All right, so I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna try like 10 passes per side, do a few back and forth, switch to the smooth side and then see, see what she looks like. So let me just angle you guys like that. I'm using my knee as, as a stand. Wow. Yeah, this feels really nice. Usually on a strop, you can kind of feel the leather, like, giving a little bit. Not with this. <laughs> this is really hard. Wow. It's definitely, like, the nicest strop I've ever seen in my life. Or used. I And I have quite a few. <clears throat> I've kind of collected them over the years. They've been given to me by very generous people. But this is definitely the hardest one I've ever worked with. Yeah, there's like a tiny burr that has built up. That's crazy. Wow. Okay, I think that was around 10 passes, so now I'm going to switch to the other side. <clears throat> but let me know how you guys' day is going. Uh, <clears throat> what you're up to today. I have to go into work in a little bit. But life is good other than the, the chaos going on. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and I am very thankful for all of you guys for the GoFundMe stuff. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I just woke up. 
not that long ago. Um, the generosity has been insane. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for all of your support, your kind words, your help, your offers, like everything. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, I mean, I, I just like don't even have words for how kind you guys are for trying to help us out. <clears throat> Although it is kind of funny. So this morning I made the mistake of looking at the comments on Metal Complex's post on his YouTube because he was trying to help, so he posted the GoFundMe thing. I mean, like, James from Junkyard Fox did, Jared from Neves, Knives did, and it's so funny and scary, uh, the audience that some people have. Jared has a very positive, loving audience. I think that's why he got to where he is so quickly, because he has a really good army behind him. Same with James from Junkyard Fox. Like, very positive, good, good people. Metal Complex's audience is fucking terrifying. Like, they are, like, cutthroat. Everyone other than Metal Complex sucks. Uh, the comments were so sad. Like, it didn't make me sad because I don't... Those people aren't real in my life. Like, I don't have people like that in my life. Uh... But his audience is so fucking terrifying. They're, like, literally the most hateful, evil people I've ever seen. It's really scary. So I told him, I was like, please take your post down. Like, I know that you're trying to help and, like, you're a good guy, but your audience is, like, fucking disturbed. Like, just take it down because I'm literally afraid of your audience. It's really scary. All of the people that watch your channel, or not all of them, but a lot of your audience members uh, are, are really hateful. So I was just like, please take it down, Metal Complex, please. Your audience is really, really bad. Mine is fucking amazing. You guys are incredible. The amount of comments that we got on our uh, <clears throat> video explaining what happened, like, oh my goodness, you guys are literally the sweetest people I've ever met. And yes, I have met some of you. Um, you guys are just the sweetest, kindest people. Uh, Brian from Transparent Knives, his audience is so kind. But you really see uh, the following that certain people have, and, and honestly, like, some people, I, ooh, your following scares the shit out of me, because you're, you guys are hateful as fuck, and really uneducated, like, so uneducated that it's actually scary that there are people out in the world like that that just don't know what they're talking about, but they like to talk. So, I'm happy for my audience, I'm happy for you guys, my fam. You guys are great. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. We're gonna go over to the smooth side now because we did, you know, around 10 passes per side, then did a few back and forth as you could see. The edge feels decent. <clears throat> Let's flip it to the side with no compound. <clears throat> but this feels very nice. Ooh. Wow. I can't believe how hard this leather is. And then I'm just going to do a few trailing passes and we'll see where we're at. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully this edge was even at a point where I could salvage it from a straw. <laughs> I didn't really check and I should have, but like I said, I just woke up a little discombobulated, but I had to get this video done before I go to work. Okay, let's see. I beat the shit out of this yesterday at work. Got some newspaper. 
Fingers crossed. Okay. I can work with that. <clears throat> oh, come on. Jesus. If I could, like, hold the paper, that'd be great. definitely is cutting. Let's see if we can get arm hairs. Come here, buddies. This is always disgusting because it's like my dead skin is coming up with it, but like also... Arm hair tower, yeah! Ew, they just blew away! <laughs> like a dust bunny of dead hair. Dead skin and arm hair just flew off camera. Hopefully you guys saw that before it took off. Okay, so that honestly is good enough for me. I'm sure we could really dial it in much more if I spent more time, but as long as it's good enough to like pop off arm hairs and cut through the newspaper. I can't tell if there's like a hang up spot. No, I don't think so. I don't think there is. <clears throat> I think I just suck at this. But it's plenty sharp for me for work. So that's good. And the strop feels fantastic. I kind of want to try it on um, my other knives. Yeah, there's like one, there's one spot I think that's like hanging up like, I wonder if I didn't knock that burr off completely that had come up. But it's plenty, it's plenty sharp. <clears throat> I definitely need to try this with my other knives because this strop feels really nice. And here's the thing, guys. Um, there are people that are like professional, pro, fantastic sharpeners like, uh, you know, Michael Christie and um, Jared over at Neve's Knives. Like, if you want to watch, like, professional ass fucking sharpening videos, you should go check them out because they're really good. But, like, I feel like it can be discouraging sometimes if you're only watching those people because, to be honest, if you can get a knife to the point where it's, you know, cutting through paper or, or pulling arm hairs off your arm, like, I'm sure that's plenty sharp for your use. And, you know, one day you can get to a place like uh, Jared or Michael Christie where they're, like, splitting hairs. That's pretty incredible. But, like, don't feel discouraged if, um, you know, you're not, your edges aren't there right now. Uh, at least for me, as long as my knife can, like, as long as it just has a decent edge, like, I'm happy with it. And I, it's interesting. Um, Clint over at Alchemy kind of does the same thing. Like, he always is saying, like, my edges aren't pretty and they're not perfect, but they're sharp. And I really like that mentality because I'm the same way. Like, sometimes I just don't have the time to uh, get it absolutely 100% perfect. But as long as it's sharp enough to, like, literally cut things at my job, I'm happy. It doesn't have to be polished. It doesn't have to be gorgeous. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect. But... I mean, this this edge is really, really sharp. I mean, I'm, it's literally shaving my arm hairs off, and I feel like that is more than sufficient for me to get my, my job done, you know? Like, it's just... Yeah, look at, look at all these. That is, that is plenty sharp for me to do what I need to do at work. So... Just some food for thought there. Um, but if you're looking to advance and get really, really dialed in, check out those people I mentioned earlier because they are absolutely incredible sharpeners. But I'm, I'm just looking to put a decent edge on it and go work at the farm. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's that. Um, go use your shit, guys. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for the support. 
hopefully you guys all have a great day. Uh, just drop your knives, use your knives. See you on the next one. Love you all.